All right, guys, it's official. EWP2 is going to go down March 29th and the 30th at the number one beach in the country, Clearwater Beach. I'm not just saying it. You can Google it. This place, this venue, man, I'm so excited for it. We booked it because of the location. We booked it because of how nice it is. And we really wanted it to make you guys feel like everybody who came to this event was VIP. When you go outside, you get you, you literally there's the venue and here is the beach look at that beautiful view it's gonna be in march so the weather's gonna be amazing and it's gonna be two day event of just bars man this is like the ted talks for the barber industry it's there's no sponsorships there's no battles just straight up education with some of the best educators that i know and i just look at it it's it's gonna be great for team building for leadership for skill sets we're gonna be flying in some of the best educators from all over the world and i hope to see you guys there this was last year's event we had 200 people show up it sold out and it'll sell out again be a link in the description below this video to book your tickets or you can go to tomb45.com youtube so we got a pretty dope haircut because it's not an easy one her texture of hair her grade of hair is not easy to cut i'm telling you um but we're gonna try to get through this i'm gonna teach you hopefully some some tricks tricks and tips so started off with sectioning the hair and pretty much cutting the shape and the silhouette <clears throat> that we're trying to accomplish here because the way she wants her hair is is you know brushed back a little bit with some volume and and she wants like a shadow fade on the sides so what i'm doing first is i'm preparing um, the hair that wants to fall to the sides and preparing it so that we can work our clippers into that bulk or that shape that we want to maintain. I don't want to bring it up too high above the parietal ridge. And so I'm taking one more section and just making sure that the hair that will fall over again because of gravity is going to actually connect. Now, to understand the sections of hair, like this is where you gotta go to the books and study. And Rum Barber does a good job of teaching this this stuff too, is understanding the sections of the head. Um, and in barber school, you you should have learned, you know, where the fringe is, where the round of the head is, um, hair growth patterns, things of that nature. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're working the back. And again, I'm not trying to take this up or cut it too short so i'm over directing everything towards the parietal ridge and cutting the 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 length that i want again to prepare for this clipper work so my number three now is what i'm gonna do on the sides and so i've already done you know the hair pretty much that's gonna fall to the sides um, and so now I'm just working my number three, connecting it to the parietal ridge, and then we're going to do our clipper work on the sides. I know I'm going to go down to a number one. So right now I'm still doing a number three, but her hair just doesn't feed. Like you can see there's like dark areas, there's like dark patches and light patches. It, it doesn't matter what clipper I use, how many times I run my, my clippers through that area, it's still going to have that, that bulk. So like for me... I'm going to speed through the system and then I'm going to take care of those dark areas afterwards. It always takes me longer to cut her hair because of this issue. Um, and, and I'm kind of OCD. I'm almost like, I'm not going to say I'm a perfectionist cause you can't do a perfect haircut, but I'm a perfection perfectionist in a sense where I, you know, I ran a number three through this, through this, through the side of her head. I ran number three with Babyliss, I ran a number three with wall and these walls have the Andes blade on it. So essentially I'm using a whole different guard system and still it's having issues getting a nice even cut all the way through. And so for me, again, I'm gonna run through the system as quickly as possible and then I'll go back and detail whatever imperfections there may be. And so right here, I'm using my two open And so the very bottom is a number one close. So essentially, I'm just fading down now. So this is my one open beneath my two open and my two close. And now I'm doing my one open. And then I'm gonna close it up some as I go down 
until that bottom line is blended out. And you can see it's coming together, you know, now that we, we're closing it up. So we'll go ahead and start on this side. And uh, essentially what I'm going to do is do both sides of her head. And then we'll, we'll bring it all together once we get into the back. So we're doing the same steps, guys. Number three with the Andis blade. I'm using, um, I'm using Filthy Blends bracket for the wall, um, which makes it so that you can put an Andes Masters blade on it. I'm using Andy's guards and the real reason why I am using this clipper right now is because I made a modification on it that I'm testing out I just want to make sure it runs good and there's no issues so I'll be you'll see me using these clippers a lot more often because of this mod I can't tell you about just yet but just know some heat is coming all right and I got my number one again so I what I typically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm bringing it down to a number three and then underneath that number three a two open and then a two close and then what I'll do is I'll use my number one close because that's what the bottom that's what she wanted the the shadow fade to start with so we're doing our number one and then I know I can just blend down from that two close to that one close and the way I'm going to blend down is by taking this number one guard, opening it up, and then blending down from the sides to that initial guideline. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. And like this is the type of client. I've, I've had her as a client for, for years now. And I'm telling you, she's been driving about an hour and some change to get a haircut from me every week every week so you know some people some people they find a barber and they don't really want to rock with nobody else because they feel confident after their haircut they feel like they're getting you know what they're looking for in a service and we can't some people don't value a haircut as much as others but there are people who do and i value haircuts like i i've i've obsessed over haircuts i've i've spent thousands upon thousands upon tens of thousands of dollars in my education because i'm obsessed with haircuts so i want clients that appreciate the craft um so like i love cutting her hair just just for the fact that she makes that drive man i don't care i don't care i don't care like right now i'm not even trying to cut hair that often but i make time for her because i know I know how much these haircuts mean to her. And again, this is, I'm not saying this like I think I'm the best barber ever or anything like that. I, not for a second. There's plenty of barbers better than me. But I guess what I'm trying to say is when, when you got, let's say when I, when you hoop and you're playing basketball um, and the, and it's your passion, it is your craft. Like you spend thousands of hours training and stuff. Could you imagine that nobody shows up to the games? Like I get it's fun, but you want people to to appreciate your game. You feel me? Like that's why people try to break ankles. You wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing like like people clapping and cheering for something you work so hard to be good at. Um, and that might be the, a bad analogy, but all I'm saying is, guys, like it feels good to cut people who respect and appreciate what you love doing sorry i went on a rant so now let's go ahead and taper out the back we went ahead and bolded it out with the with the skeleton fx's by babyliss the gun metal joints and we already blended it down to a number one and because the master's blade opens up so much i like to try to skip the zero guard sometimes i can sometimes i can't sometimes it's just quicker to go ahead and slap that zero guard in it and i probably could have got away here with just um raking or using the heel of the blade to blend into this darker area where you see i'm getting close to right now but i went ahead and just grabbed the zero guard 
because what I'm seeing is it gets dark a little bit above that. So I'll just use that number zero guard to uh, to lighten that up some. I'm paying attention to the color of the hair, the shade. And I was I was I was um, <laughs> shaking my my finger no, pretty much saying and just get rid of this guard, get back the get the other one back, get the get the original zero guard back. Um, but I actually yo crazy thing is I actually. I guess a few years back, I gave my wife um, some Babyliss Clippers that used the Andis guards, and um, she doesn't use Clippers ever. She barely cuts. She doesn't even cut men hair, men hair really, and she had the original Zero guard, so I got them back. So I'm just showing off the the uh, the arsenal on the powered mat, and we're gonna switch over to the Babyliss um, Clippers. So the last tutorial, I believe. I was using the the Babeless Clippers for the bulk of the haircut, and then I was refining with my with that wall clipper. Now I just did the opposite. So if you notice, I used the the wall clip clipper, but then I refined with the Babeless joint. Um, and now it's time for the lineup. Not really much to explain here. Let's 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 line. line. Oh, actually, yeah, her C cups. If you notice, her C cups are crazy. If I was to really pay attention. To the arch here where i'm at right now i would have to push this area back like crazy and i don't want to do that i want to keep that as natural as possible as you can see here because then she would have like a freaking like a boomerang arch nah we don't do that we want we want c cups we want a nice um a nice arch we want a nice arch and so I went ahead and tried to leave that as natural as possible we will use color enhancement because she loves color enhancement and um and i think that'll help um with the finished result but we're gonna keep it natural i don't want to give her the boomerang c cup she doesn't want that either all right so now we're lining up the back the neck area and this is where this is where haircuts be popping i feel like the most i feel like this part of the lineup is crazy and it really makes the blend in the back pop so much more. You guys can see how the haircut's really starting to come together. So we'll go ahead and blow dry her hair. She likes her hair styled after every haircut. Because usually she has something to do. She drove so far. She's in Tampa. She might as well do something while she's out here. So please go ahead and style my hair. And so we're going to line her up. And like this is a lot of bangs guys. I'm not pushing her back. She just has bangs. And if you look at the natural hairline in the middle of her forehead, you can see it's naturally higher. So what I'm cutting right now is just hair that's overhanging the natural hairline. Okay, and so now that I've lined it up, I'm going to go ahead and refine some more. And you notice that I'm refining with that Babyliss Clipper. It just helps me to switch it up. It like resets my mindset, my eyes. And I just feel like it's a, it's a, it's a great way to get a cut um, from the best of both worlds, right? That's just my opinion. So again, we're lining up this side, paying attention to the center of her forehead because that's where her natural hairline is. Don't pay attention to a fringe, to bangs, to hair that's overhanging her hairline. All right, let's load up this clean razor, brand new, clean, because we are sanitary over here. And we're gonna go ahead, we use 245 shave gel. She does not like getting lined up with the razor without shave gel. It irritates her and that's one of her pet peeves. So we make sure that we put 245 shave gel so that she gets a nice, clean, com clean comfortable shave. And I put it on her eyebrows too so that um, her skin doesn't feel dry or irritated after we do the razor on her eyebrows. We're close enough to the point where she'll tell me when stuff ain't comfortable you know what i'm saying like some clients won't even tell you because they don't want to make things awkward they just kind of take it but if it's if it's if, if it's irritating she lets me know and that's how i learned that she wants shave gel so let's go ahead and enhance the cut okay it's a good cut still but it's a good cut still but we're gonna enhance it right we're just it's like putting hair product on top of a nice sheer cut Okay, some of y'all be slapping hair gel on people's hair to, to cover up a bad shear cut, right? So you don't want to do that with a shear cut and you don't want to do that with a haircut. 
We're not covering nothing up. We're just making it. We're just enhancing it. And she loves enhancements. All right. So now we're using the razor to clean up the brows. And I feel like the cut is coming together. I feel like nine out of 10 of my clients get their eyebrows done, male or female. All right, we're refining. I really like the texture of her hair right now, like the, the fringe area, the front of her hair on top. I like how it naturally kind of swoops over. I think that looks dope. And it, and it just works, it connects from every angle. All right, so now we're using 245 Pure Powder. Do not put this on the roots. If it gets on the scalp, this stuff has a lot of hold and it will cake up. So you just want a little bit, just powder, just dust a little bit on top and then work it into the hair and then go ahead and style the hair how you'd like. And then what I'll do to give it a little bit of longevity and, and ref maybe define some of the texture a little bit more is I'll, I'll use hairspray and I'll really piece up the hair, as you can see. And we're using this comb that was gifted to me by Real Men, which I like the comb a lot. And we're just using high hold hairspray. Try to find something that doesn't have a lot of shine, because then it just looks like, like plastic when you, by the time you get done um, with the hairspray. So again, I, after I styled the hair, I could see some imperfections, so I'm going in and I'm cleaning it up and um, I'm just refining it some more, making sure the hair looks nice. So this is the before, guys. This is the before and this is the after. So guys, let me know if you learned anything, if you liked the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're dropping heat every Monday and Thursday. And if, if you're into the business part of barbering, Sundays we'll be dropping live streams or some type of vlog or content as well love you guys appreciate y'all as always and uh look she love she loving the cut we out